What we're going to do now is explain the operation of the Ozonet ozone generator. So we have our hydrophobic valve connected so that no water accidentally gets into the ozone generator and ruins it. Um, and here's the basic interface. We have a, t a screen here that shows us our three different options as far as modes. We have a cancel button, we have an enter button, we have a slide pad to, to select uh, the different mode and then the different concentrations, and then we have a destruct port here. So let's get started. Um, if we simply want to draw up ozone into a syringe, we're going to connect our syringe first, then we're going to hit enter. We're going to select our concentration value anywhere from one to 80. We're going to hit enter <clears throat> and the ozonet will automatically fill the syringe. When the syringe is full, the ozonet will automatically shut off and tell you how much ozone is in your syringe. That is all there is to it. Now, when I want to neutralize excess ozone, I connect it to the destruct port and I simply depress the plunger and it's gone. Okay, so let's cancel out of this. Uh, let's go ahead and move over to continuous flow mode. This mode I would use when I'm ozonating fluid or when I'm doing limb bagging or something of that nature. And all I'm gonna do is go ahead and connect. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my, uh, my fluid bubbler to the port, the ozone port. Um, I'm also gonna connect my <clears throat> destruct to the destruct port. Uh, and then I'm going to hit enter. <clears throat> I'm going to select my concentration. Hit enter. Now this is the flow rate. It's in liters per hour. Enter. And then I select how long I want to ozonate for. Um, and I'm going to hit enter there. Now, the generator will automatically produce ozone for the specified amount of time, and uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, if I want to cancel out again, I just hit cancel, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. It will flow oxygen through the tube to get rid of the ozone in those tubes uh, when you cancel off of that setting. Um, and it will give you on the final screen the final dose. So that is continuous flow mode. Now if I want to run a procedure again, I can hit enter and it will run that same exact procedure over. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and remove my tubes from the unit. Um, I'm gonna cancel out of this screen. And we're gonna to go to the third setting this is manual, the manual mode. I'm gonna hit enter. And then you, you set your concentration value. Um, I'm gonna hit enter. You set your speed of flow and I'm gonna go ahead and just move it up just slightly and hit enter. And I'm gonna connect my syringe um, to the port and on this mode I have to hold enter down for it pr to produce ozone. Whenever I let go, it stops. I can stop and start as, as much as I want and then when I'm done um, it'll give me the amount of ozone I have in uh, micrograms and then also my uh, total volume and the amount of time that I produced ozone for. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Cancel again, go to the mean screen remove my syringe and I don't need that ozone so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, that is all there is to using and operating the ozonet.